Yeah, I work in IT, but I'm also an ass model. Look, check oh, it out. Oh, come on. Look at that. What do you think? It's nice. Good, yeah? Sure. <laughs> Have a touch. No, no, no. Put your hand on no. it. It's fine. Don't be shy. Come on. I'd rather not. You can, really. It's okay. No. Look, I can touch you. You can oh touch me. Oh, my God. Me. No, you can't. <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> I could get your job. What is going on, everybody? Welcome to Super Seducer. I'm your host, the Birdman Otis Falcon. I think it's been a while since we've done a, a dating tips video from the Birdman. As we all know, uh, I am the ladies' man. So I figure we we do a, an update video on how to get the ladies or the guys, depending on you know what you're into, depending on your preference. And here we have Super Seducer, which gives me the perfect opportunity to give you guys a bit more tips here. So how about we go into press any button? So we have the chapter select. Chapter one, girl in the street. We have two girls in a bar. Luckily, there's no cup involved. We have a club dance floor. Girl sitting in coffee shop. Friend to girlfriend. You know, you got a friend that you're probably into and you want to make that friend to a girlfriend. This will apparently teach you how to do that. So let's go into the first one, which is the only one that's unlocked. Alright, so that's going to be our, our character avatar here. That fella, I imagine. Got a sly little smirk to his face as well. Alright. I'm down with that. Kind of a cutie. Oh, he knows what's up. Approach directly in front. Approach slightly in front and to the side. Pretend to be blind. Walking next to her. The wolf whistle and yo, what up girl? Walking with her. Well, we gotta go pretend to be blind, right? <laughs> I don't know what this is gonna lead to, but let's give it a try. <laughs> Whoa, um... Very funny, but, you know, in most cases, she's just going to brush you off. <laughs> well, do we really want to date somebody who who gets that perturbed for him, a blind person, you know, getting in her way? I got to tell you, she seemed to come off a little bit standoffish. You know, what if that guy was really, I mean, we weren't blind, but what if we were really blind? Should it be like, oh, get away from me, blind man. You know what? I would, I would ixnay it right there. But we got a couple more silly options here. We have Wolf Whistle, too. All right. You wish. <laughs> it's just not polite, is it? That's good. That's a good one right there. I've never seen the wolf whistle in that close quarters. Okay, so we've gone through some of the silly ones. Um, We also have, yo, what up, girl? Let's try that one out. Yo, what up, girl? Can I just talk to you for a second? Where are you headed? I'm busy. Yeah? Come back here. <laughs> Come back here. <laughs> Not right. You want to stop her and talk to her when she's stationary. You don't want to walk with her. It's kind of weird. And then you can never tell if she wants to talk to you or not. So either stop her and talk to her. If she keeps walking, let her go. I imagine we want to probably get in her way to, you know, get her to stop. Because sometimes, you know, you try to, like, talk to somebody and decide to just keep walking by, you know, especially if they're not interested in what you're dealing with here. So let's go with the approach directly in front. That's correct. When you stop a girl on the street, you need to be directly in front of her and also leave enough space so that she can slow down and comfortably stop. Okay, number one, good advice. I mean, you don't necessarily want to smash into each other. Not a really good um, first counter. Number two, where did those um, half-naked girls come from? I just saw you and wanted to let you know you look very elegant. Hey, do you have a minute? Hey, I don't know you from... Hey, don't I know you from one of my yoga classes? I think you're really beautiful. I love to go, I mean, we, for the purpose of science, we got to go with this one. So I just saw you and I'd really love to go down on you. What'd you Fuck say? Fuck you, asswipe. What? Don't be sexual until you know that she would be open to it, which is never going to be in the first few seconds, especially in the daytime when she's probably just going to buy a coffee or on her lunch break. I like how the guy was very shocked, too, by the the outcome, you know, like, w w what did I say? Huh? W w w what's wrong with what I just said right now as she walked away? That's good. Um, alrighty. Hey, do you have a minute? Um, I could probably do that, but, um, you know, sometimes people don't have a minute. How about a, a nice little compliment to start things off with here? So, I just saw you and I wanted to let you know you look very elegant. That's not bad. It's not too abrasive. 
It's like, you know, elegance. It's not like you're saying, like, dang, you look hot, baby. That's probably a bit too much. Elegant, there's a, a sense of finesse in that. Hey, excuse me. Can I tell you something really quickly? Sure. I just saw you and wanted to let you know that you look really elegant. I uh, love that skirt as well. <laughs> it's really summery. Thank you. This is good because you've given her a nice compliment. It's direct, it's made her smile, and it's made her feel like speaking to you. So it's, it's a nice, confident way to start in the street. So what's your plans for today? I'm actually going to the park uh, to feed the yeah. squirrels with my friend. What? Feed squirrels? Yeah. And ducks or squirrels? <laughs> no, just the squirrels. These we, little uh, guys, yeah? Yeah, we got them to be our friends. What do you of. feed them? Like hot dogs? <laughs> <laughs> um, almonds? Almonds? Yeah. That's their favorite, is it? It seems to be. That's nice. Well, they're really cute, aren't they? They are very cute. You yeah, like it's animals? Fun. I do. Mm, nice. Yes. That mm. sounds fun, actually. I never thought of that. But buy some almonds, go feed the squirrels. You should try it sometime. Okay. And what are you doing today? So, let's see here now. We've established a little bit of talking, which is good. She stopped. She's not moving anymore. Ask her questions to get her to do most of the talking. You're just so beautiful. Would you mind if I kissed you right now? Lean in for the kiss. Now, you know, you got a couple of sentences in already. Yeah, might as well just go in for the bang, huh? Just get that kiss out of the way. You know, it's going to happen eventually. And you do most of the talking. Um, well, obviously it's not B, but again, we got to find out what happens. You're just so beautiful, and I want to give you a kiss. Whoa, no, 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 no. I'm not trying to fuck you in the ass or anything, just a little <laughs> kiss. Fuck you. <laughs> this is the definition of creepy, the kind of stuff that's going to get you arrested, thrown out of places by security, and in all kinds of problems. So don't do it. If you want to make a sexual advance on a girl, it's cool. You do it smoothly, and you do it at the right time. The best part about this is, like, the, the shock factor of the guy every single time. This time, it's not like I want to have sexual intercourse, which is just a kiss. Why? Well, what's so wrong with a kiss? That's good. Alrighty, so, ask her questions, get her to do most of the talking, or you do most of the talking. Them talk is not a bad thing either. Let's go with, um, you do most of the talking here. Yeah, I was just walking, there's a nice park down there, and then I'm gonna meet some friends, but I've got, like, 40 minutes, and... That's why when I saw you, and I thought you looked friendly, so that's why I came over and said hi. Okay. In the early stages of an interaction, you actually do want to make most of the conversation so that she has a chance to relax, get comfortable talking to you, uh, snap out of the mindset that she was in, thinking about what she's doing and where she's going. So that's the right one. We might hire some bikes and go riding around the park. There's like a nice spot where they rent out bikes and it's on the lake. And yeah, but you, so. you ride bikes in there? Well, I'm English. <laughs> <laughs> you know what we do, like the penny farthing and the, the suit on, okay. and sitting really up, up straight. That's very no, fancy I'm, for bikes. I'll, I will change. I will okay. change yeah. Use checking out her earrings as an excuse to touch her. Start touching yourself. Start touching yourself to get her turned on. <laughs> okay. Find an excuse to take off your shirt to show off your physique. Well, now C number C would probably be very ideal if you're like a rip jack dude. But if you're not, you might be sending the wrong signals by taking your shirt off and, you know, you're all flabby and stuff and all pale. And ask what she does for a living because she looks artistic. Ask what hairstyle she thinks would be good for you. Okay. Well, obviously we gotta go with the silly ones first, right? So let's go with the start touching yourself to get her turned on. I like squirrels. Yeah? Yeah, and I like nuts. I like, uh, cashews. <laughs> oh my god. What? What? Oh, fucking pervert. You like nuts, you said. <laughs> if you like touching yourself, great. But make sure you do it in the privacy of your own home. <laughs> you know what was good about that? The transition. We're talking about nuts and squirrels and almonds and he just starts, you know, rubbing a donger. That's good. I like that. It's not going to help you, but... <laughs> okay. So let's see what we have here. Use checking out her earrings and excuse to touch her. I still don't think that's good. And I feel like we might get a silly um, outcome from that, so we gotta give it that try. Hey, you've got really interesting earrings. Can I take a look? Uh, yeah. sure. Oh, where'd you get these? There's some story behind them. Mm, a friend gave them to me. Okay, they're really cool, actually. Thanks. On the street, there's not really much point to escalate the touch, so it's a little bit strange, but you could probably get away with it. Okay, 
Um, that wasn't really my choice. I, I, I don't think that was like a good one. I saw like better ones out there. But apparently it still proceeded because it wasn't like the wrong choice completely. I like how when you only get the half heart, the girls still have the clothes on, you know, just in case. You know, it's like, you know, you've, you've done all right, but had you done really good, they'd be next to you half naked. So, all right. I wish I could go back. Is there a way for to go back? No. I've got to keep going, apparently. All right. So let's see here. Um, we've already touched her like a creeper. Uh, are you single? Ask her name, then say it's your name too. Introduce yourself and lo look up her skirt. Well, I mean, we've already talked to her a while. I mean, what's wrong with looking up her skirt, huh? Is that so hey, crazy? Hey, something on your foot there. Let me just get it. Hey, what the fuck? <laughs> True gentleman. <laughs> what? Are you telling me I can't look up her skirt in public? What kind of world do we live in here, huh? Okay. So, obviously not the one you want to go for. I'm pretty sure there'd be some sort of police involvement here pretty soon. Alright, so are you single? Ask her name. I don't like the are you single one. Too, too upfront. You know, it's not one of the first things you ask somebody, you know? Because you gotta first play the friend card. I'm a friendly guy. If you say you're single, it's kind of like, well, you know, obviously I'm, I'm looking for something. Which, you know, probably she knows you're looking for something. I mean, why else would, she, would you, you know, make conversation with her? But still, you don't want them to know you're outwardly looking for something, right? So, I don't like that one. Ask her name, then say it's your name too. That could be pretty good in a comical type of sense. And introduce yourself. Well, we haven't really introduced ourselves just yet, so that would be very good. My name is Richard, by the way. Hey, nice to meet you. And your name? Alexa. <laughs> it's good that you have a name. I was just waiting for it a while, but it's good that you have one. <laughs> Thanks. Rather than just asking her name, you can always introduce yourself. It's a little bit different to what most guys do, and it's a positive difference. What kind of things do you like to do in your free time? Mm, I actually don't have a lot of free time. I work, oh, a, I work a lot, so when I'm not working, I like to be outside. Yeah. Um, yeah, I try to be outdoors as much as possible. I actually bike where you mentioned. Okay. Um, yeah, I just try to be outdoors. So you're one of these active people that's always doing stuff? <laughs> yeah, it's hard for me to stay sitting down. Not couch potato. Well, every now and then, but in general, no, more active than okay. down. I'm kind of semi-active. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like I do some active stuff, but actually I prefer it when, you know, someone else plans everything and they like come to this and I always say yes. Okay. But given the choice, I often just chill at home. That's I like fair. chilling. See, that's my type of guy. I don't like making plans either. You make the plans and you hit me up later and then we're good. And if I like the plans, I'll, I'll go. If I don't like the plans, I'll just probably wind up flaking out. But that's okay. But me making the plans, like, eh, you know, it requires just way too much effort. I, I ain't down with that. But, um, good. All right, so let's see. We have, um, can I have your phone number? Listen, I need to meet some friends, but I'd like to see you again. What's your number? Sell her on one of your hobbies. And I love how casual you look. I hate girls that always try to look their best. Well, I'm not sure if you want to be hating on that specifically. Uh, none of these seem too silly, so I think we'll probably just try to go for the legit one. So can I have your phone number straight up? That's, uh, too soon, man. Um... I'm going to say, like, one of my hobbies. I mean, we she talked about liking bikes herself, so you could probably still keep going on that. So let's go on that one. Have you ever tried climbing? You know, like on these walls? <laughs> I've heard of it. Um, I've always wanted to, but I haven't yet. You know, it's very cool. We've got some place that we go to. I've only been, like, four times. But it's really fun. Very good exercise and just really cool. So you should definitely try it. Yeah, I would like to. When you're speaking to girls, it's good to be passionate about something and a good choice is something you love to do, a hobby. Now, why don't you see if you can go out and sell someone on it, make it so that they're smiling like, yeah, I'd like to do that. That sounds great. So it's, it's the right option in this case. OK, so you said you like biking and rock climbing. Yeah. Um, any other like outdoor activities? Yeah, loads of stuff. Yeah. Um, racket sports. Like tennis? Um, yeah, tennis and also squash. You know what squash is? <laughs> it's the English thing. I don't know I about mean, most it, sports no. were invented in England, obviously, but I think they play it everywhere. It's, um, it's like when you're, you're usually inside and you've got a wall like in front to the sides and in the back and you okay. can hit the ball like anywhere. And it, I think it's the best exercise. You're constantly running and... Yeah, yeah. it sounds it's very cool. kind of dangerous, but fun. Oh, no, no, it's fine, it's fine. The ball is um, only like that big, so even if it hits you, it's not too bad. Okay. You and can smash each other with, with the rackets, but <laughs> rarely happens. Hmm. You and should try it. I might sometime. Uh, you said you work in IT? Uh, let's see here. Say you're, say you're an ass model, then try to touch her ass. 
Well, obviously, I think we found a silly option here. Programmer and be passionate about it. Programmer and that it's really boring and you don't like it much. Programmer, but switch to talking about life philosophy and say that you are a model scout. <laughs> oh, that doesn't drip with creepiness right there. Oh, yeah, I just happen to be model scout. Let me guess. I want to hire you as a model. Let me get your number and all that jazz, huh? It's very, um, it's very L.A., very Hollywood. Okay, so we got to go with the first one. Say you're an ass model, and then, you know, try to grab the goods here. Yeah, I work in IT, but I'm also an ass model. Look, check oh, it out. Oh, come on. Look at that. What do you think? It's nice. Good, yeah? Sure. <laughs> Have a touch. No, no, no. Put your hand on no. it. It's fine. Don't I'm... be shy. Come on. I'd rather not. You can, really. It's okay. No. Look, I can touch you. You can oh touch me. Oh, my God. Me. No, you can't. <laughs> no, you can't. But I could get you a job. <laughs> This was going okay until you tried to touch her. You know, a girl is not ready at that time for that kind of sexuality. And you can't really get anywhere by rushing that fast. So you're telling me that after a couple of minutes of talking to somebody, you can't reach over there and just feel up the, the, the old behind, huh? Okay. Well, hey, I, I've learned something new today, huh? Alrighty, so and the first part was actually kind of good. The entire ass thing, like, he was playing it off just fine. Like, you know, just being really, again, sense of humor. If you have a sense of humor, you can play off of that very easy, especially how you sell it. That was pretty good. But like, the second part was like, oh, let me just touch you. It's kind of like, hey. So how about, let's go with, um, be passionate about your job. Yeah, I work in IT and actually I love my job. I think that, uh, you know, people think IT is boring, but at the moment it's like the most exciting field right to work in there's so many cool companies i really love my job so happy to <laughs> to go to work every day and um yeah it's fascinating for me that's great if you have a job and you think it's boring that's not important um the thing that you need to do is show that you have passion for something if it's, if you do like your job even if you think other people are not interested speak passionately about it and you can get them to buy in, feel at least the emotion, even if they don't understand it that well. So, you know, don't worry about it being boring. Worry about how you tell others about it and hope that your emotion will be contagious. So yeah. do you always stop girls in the street? Um, let's see. Actually, yeah, quite often. No, of course not. Never. Not too often, but when I like the look of someone and I'm single, why not? Only if they look like they are dying. Whoa. Well, um, science, right? I think, um, I I'm liking... No, of course not, never. That just seems like you're a BS artist. <clears throat> Unless you've probably never done it before, and this is, like, legitimately your first time ever. I mean, but, you know, good luck selling somebody on that fact. Actually, yeah, quite often that just sounds like, you know, you're, you're, you're a very thirsty dude. I like C. That one sounds really, really good. Um, but let's check out number D here really quickly. Well, you know what? There's a special quality I look for, and I would only stop girls if they have that exact thing. So okay. it's quite, you know, something special going on. Do you want to know what it is, the quality? <laughs> yeah, I do. Well, it's just when the girl just looks like she's dying to be fucked. And basically... Excuse me? Yeah, like she's just ready to bang right no, there and then. No, that's vulgar. That's oh, really vulgar. Vulgar? Yes. No? Yeah. That's totally cool in the game, but in real life, I must tell you that... You shouldn't even swear at girls, never mind getting sexual. As a man, you have a responsibility to treat women with respect and always make sure that they feel better after the interaction with you than they did before. No matter how rude they are, they've got a right to be rude. And if they're not rude, then even more reason to be polite and make them feel good. Um, I like C. C was kind of like my go-to one first. No, not often at all, but I think when I'm single, when mm -hmm. I like the look of someone, I figure, why not start a conversation? Because you never know what will happen. Yeah. Could become friends, could date, or just have a nice interaction. Why not, right? Definitely. This is the right choice because actually it's honest and it's disarmingly honest. So it's going to take her back a little bit, but it's going to also show that you're telling tr the truth, that she can trust you, and show that you're confident enough to, to say that instead of making up some rubbish. So it's the right choice. Well done. All right. Uh, have we talked about the, the amazing Hugh Hefner, like, smoking jacket he's got going on there, too? Anyway, let's see. We are just about, we're, we're kind of well over the time limit for this video I normally go for here. Let's do one more option, and then we'll wrap it up. If you guys want to see more of this, do let me know, and I will come back and do a bit more. There's a lot of chapters to go through, obviously. And I'm not sure how far we are from completing this one. 
but the game doesn't come out to like March if I'm correct, so I do have early access to it. I might be able to show you a bit more. I don't want to like necessarily show too much because you know it's still not out, and I I want people to be surprised and you know support the developer. Um, listen, I have a few minutes. Why don't we grab a coffee? Oh, this might be actually towards the end of this one too. Listen, I need to meet some friends, but I'd like to see you again. What's your number? Give her your number. You know, I live near here and I have the apartment all to myself. Okay, we got to go with the creeper response first. Um, between these though, um, I, I I'm like I don't like to give her your number option because it's it's just way too out there. Like you know, is she gonna call you back or not? You know, no. I don't think giving the number is the right one. You want to get her number of anything. So I'm liking either B, like hey. Uh, I am in a rush now. It's a good way to get out of conversation, too, because sometimes you're kind of like, you know, how do I wrap this up? But that's a good way to get out of it. Like, I'm meeting some friends, but this was, you know, adequate. This was enjoyable. Let me get your number so we could do more of it. We do more of it now, but I'm in a rush, quote unquote. And then number A, you know, hey, if she wants to stop by to get some coffee right now. Although she did mention she was on her way to feed the squirrels, so that might be a little bit of conflict of interest. But let's try number D first. Listen, I, I live literally on the next street, just over there, so um, I think no one's home now. We could just pop over there and, <laughs> you know, hang out at home. Um, got some drinks. No, no, I'm, I'm meeting my friends and it's a little you early You can bring drink. them as well, are they pretty? No, I mean, well, yeah, no, but they're not we're not interested. Well, they can come, they can watch. <laughs> they can watch. Let's just drink at 12 o'clock in the now, afternoon. No, girls will come back to your house in the daytime if you do things exactly correct perfectly it's not something you should try until you're very good with women to the point where you can read all the signals so well that you know when they're going to say yes uh, to something like that otherwise it just shouldn't be attempted otherwise you'll just get the reputation of being a maniac <laughs> a maniac yeah <laughs> you want to go get drunk right now 12 in the afternoon bring your friends you can watch i'm into that baby all right let's see here let's go with um I like A, it's not a bad one, but she did mention the plans, so it is just a few minutes, though. I like A or B, to be honest with you. Let's see. Let's go with B. Listen, I need to meet some friends, but why don't you give me your number and we'll keep in touch and yeah. find the time to meet. Sure, that'd be great. Did you give me a fake number? You did pretty well. You didn't get the very best result, which meant that you made a few decisions that weren't quite ideal, but you did enough to get the result and see the girl again. You got the number, so well done. All right, Casanova. You can slow down. Oh, you're just repeating everything? Okay. So, I think that went pretty well. Let's go to story mode to get this music out of the way. I think that went pretty well. Um, I think what would have probably would have hurt that last result was the fact that earlier... We got a yellow when I was still trying to do like the silly answers, but um, not, not, not bad. Like the first one sounded good too, but again, if she was on her way to be somewhere and you already had that information, it would probably be a conflict, but apparently we did fine after we stopped goofing around. So I'm gonna wrap it up here. That was chapter number one. We have a lot more chapters over here to check out. If you guys wanna see a bit more, do let me know. Maybe I could try out chapter number two after, which is two girls in a bar. And maybe further after the release, or at least closer to the release, we could check out more of this if you guys enjoy it. So do let me know. All the information for Super Seducer will be down in the description down below. I like the game, to be honest with you. It's not really too much of a game, obviously. But I like stuff like this on occasion, too. It's just something to... Uh, it's a bit different. Plus, you know, you, you probably... I'll be honest with you, some of the advice that was being given here was actually really good. So you might even learn something from it. And, of course, the silly answers are too good to pass up. Um, I will catch you next time.